everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make uh, this card, and I'm really featuring the stamp and trimmer and layering. Um, and I'm going to just show you these different layers. Um, I'm using the first frost clear uh, mount stamp set. Um, I am talking throughout the week about the stamp and trimmer. That's Stamping Up's um, paper trimmer. It has a, a scoring blade and a cutting blade. I colored mine to remind myself not to cut when I'm trying to score. And it also ha has an arm that opens up and goes out to 14 and a half. Actually, you can go a little bit further if you wanted to. Um, but anyway, check my blog. I have a video um, from Stampin' Up! and I just have some tips on it. Just wanted to share that with you. So I did, um, on my blog, have the dimensions for making a card, um, whether it opens this way or the one we're going to make today will open this way. So I have that information, and then I just have the different layers that I used. So let's get started. I'm using this first frost stamp set, and then I'm using this paper, which is from that suite. So let me just show you in the holiday catalog. And if you need a catalog, let me know. This is my version. <laughs> I have my name on it, and I've been highlighting things. So on page 36 and 37, you'll see the stamp set, the paper. I'm using the uh, uh, frosted epoxy droplets. Um, there are some framelits. There's a lot, of, lot to this set. Uh, so if you wanted to check that out. And let me just show you the paper. I have it all fanned out. It's really beautiful. It has like a pearlized look to it. I think I've shown it to you before. It's just so pretty. It's hard to decide which side you want to use. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little bit of a shine to it. So it's really gorgeous. This is the one I'm using today. You'll see I cut it up already. Um, so what I'm doing with this card is I'm just really highlighting the layers. So my card base, this is a top folding card, and it's just a half a piece of eight and a half by 11. This is, um, if I cut it this way, so I cut this in half this way and this in half this way. I hope that makes sense, but look at my blog. And then I have all the different layers. Um, the black layer is a five by, um, five and a quarter by four, and then this DSP is five by three and three quarters. And then I just went in, um, so these are really a quarter of an inch smaller, and then this one is only an eighth of an inch smaller. So this, uh, the black is three and five eighths by two and five eighths, and then the white is three and a half by two and a half. So you can kind of figure out um, your layers and then go down a quarter of an inch if you want a wider border, or an eighth of an inch if you want a very narrow border. Um, so let's make this card. This one again is top folding, and this one I'm going to make your normal side fold. You could also use it this way. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start by my stamping, and what I did was I took this image and I marked it because I wanted green and pink. So I marked it with my stamp and write markers. So we'll just get the the stamp. I already have it mounted. And I'm just going to color it with pear pizzazz. So you just go over the leaves, and I'm going to do the stems. And there is a long, long stem that kind of goes into the flowers, so you kind of have to figure out where to start, where to end. But it's not hard, and if it's not perfect, that is just okay. So I'm going to go up in here. I see a little bit of a stem up here this stem and just up in here a little bit so you know it's however you want to do it and I'm just going to close this up and then I'm using powder pink I wanted this to be very delicate and light and I am using the marker side not the the harder smaller side so that let me just show you the pens that's more like a, a pen versus the marker so for this, I'm going to use the, the marker. So let me just color this all in. And this one is very hard to see because it's such a light color. So you have to keep track of where you're coloring it. And we'll get all over here. Go 
over here, just about done here. And you want to try not to get any of the green on the pink. Probably would be good to do the lighter color first, but that's okay. I'll just make sure it's not on there. Um, so let me just put the cap on this one. And then I'm going to huff on it or breathe on it um, to moisten it up. And then I'll just stamp it down on my Whisper White piece here. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment, wishing you all the best. And I'm going to do that in my black memento. And I always like to stamp it on paper. I try to figure out where to line it up, like the bottom of this has a kind of a straight line. So that helps me make it um, as straight as I can. How's that sound? And then let's do the inside. So on the inside of this, I used this stamp and I used it in two colors. Um, you can just do one color and that also is a layer that's um, five and a quarter by four and I'm just looking for that I had it I know I had it here it is hiding under my um, stamp and trimmer so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use the pear pizzazz so it matches kind of the front I'm going to just make sure it's clean. And I'll go off the paper a little bit and I'll do one corner. And then I'll do the same thing in the second corner. And that's perfectly fine if I just wanted to leave it like that. I'm going to add the gray granite just to give it a little bit more dimension. And I'm cleaning it not the right way, but um, since that's a lighter color, I think we'll be okay. Now this um, color, this gray granite, is pretty dark. So I don't want to go that dark with it. I'm just going to stamp it off and then do it again. So I think that would kind of murky it up a little bit. So that's just very simple. And let's close this up. And now we just have to put our card together. This is a very simple card. Um, but I think it's very uh, pretty. I like the colors. I love this paper. Again, it's kind of pearlized. So let's do the black layer. And I'm just going to put some snail up and down the whole thing. And then try to get it nice and centered. So that's a nice border around it. And then we'll do the layer of DSP, same thing. I love this side of it. It's very hard sometimes to use the one side if you love the other side. Luckily, you get two sheets of everything, so you can use both sides. Okay, and let's put the middle, the inside in. The middle, what am I talking about? The inside, we'll put that in. Just get that laid down. Now, I a lot of times I don't do sentiments because I'm not sure who I'm going to send this to. Um, so I'm just going to leave it that way for now. I think it has a nice little um, image. So, And then this one has that very tight border. So let's put this on. And you have to be careful when you put these tight borders around just to try to get it all even so I looked the top corner the bottom corner and then this side corner and then you could pop this up and I didn't do that but I think I'll pop it up on this card so I'm going to just use some dimensionals I didn't do that on the last card but it seems like it should be popped up I love the dimensionals I love the big dimensionals the little ones I like for, for little things, but these are much easier to handle, I think. Um, and you could cut these down if you wanted to as well. So 
just pull off the release paper. And then I'm just going to try to place this right in the center. And then I did these epoxy um, uh, droplets, they're called. So I didn't realize this because I was looking at them and I thought, wow, they look different. So they're frosted and clear. So you get one set of frosted and one set of clear. So I used the frosted because I felt like um, it went better with this paper. And I just put three, three in a row right down here just to add a little something to it. Come on. That one doesn't want to come up. Oh, I'm underneath it. Oh boy. That's, there we go. Okay. And that's the card. So you've got one that opens this way and one that's what they call a top fold. Um, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this and come back tomorrow to my blog. I won't have a video, but um, I do my videos usually on Wednesday and then I have other um, cards that I make and I just show pictures on other days. So make sure you check it, uh, PSPaperCrafts.com. You have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.